Yo, hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to the next episode in our Fix That Super Rush Town Hall 13, where today we have three builders available, and uh, we got some really good loot. So let's go ahead and jump into our progress base, see what we can get done. Now, last episode, we did some huge upgrades, and I have something blocking. What is it? Oh, it's this, uh, this present, so we're just going to go ahead and remove that. Uh, but so, last episode, we got some huge upgrades going. We got the archers going, we got the laboratory going as well. We also did a wizard tower. We did, I think, uh, what else did we do? Oh, we did we did one of these storages. It's still going as well. And uh, we had something else going. I don't even remember what it was. But uh, today we got three builders available. We got to get these builders going. Oh, we did the, one of the heroes. That's what it was. Got one of the heroes done. So uh, today, I don't know how much dark elixir I have. I didn't actually look to see how much I have. Uh, but we'll find out here in just a second. As soon as that's done. There we go. So 26,000. Uh, so we need another 10,000 for the Barbarian King to upgrade him. Because uh, he is behind the Archer Queen. So I do have a little bit in there, but that's only 1,000. We need 10,000. So maybe in today's raids we could find some really insane Dark Elixir. But uh, as far as, you know, upgrades go, we have three buildings. If we can't get um, the Dark Elixir to upgrade one of the heroes, we'll just use all three builders on, you know, a defense or something like that. So... Let's go out. Let's try and get two stars. We need to get two stars, get a little bit more loot bonus. That would be nice. And hopefully we could find, you know, a dead base or something like that with like a million loot or something. That would be awesome. Uh, so let's go see what we can find. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, find one of those dead bases. Now, I do have a wall record this time. So I do have some CC troops. I really want to get back up into Crystal League. I've gotten, I've been, you know, being kind of lazy and I got really low in trophies. We're like at like 1700 something, so I need to get back up. We need to get back up in trophies, because I don't want to stay in Gold League. Gold League is not the best. So I think this base, I mean this base looks kind of deceiving. He's got nice wizard towers. I think I want to find a little bit better base. A little bit better base, maybe find some more loot and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully, we'll be able to find a dead base here soon. Uh, while we are looking for a base... I do want to let you guys know that I do live stream Monday through Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Time on Facebook Gaming. So you guys definitely want to come tune into that because I have, you know, like seven other accounts. So you guys definitely want to come tune into that. We have, you know, I have my channel 13. I got channel 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, channel 7. Actually, my channel 7 is going to channel 8 because that's my Let's Play account. Uh, so you guys definitely want to come tune into that. It's a lot of fun. You know, we got all different types of, uh, types of attack strategies that we do. So, definitely coming out to that. I'd greatly appreciate it, and I uh, hope to see you guys there. But I'm not really finding a base. Not really finding a base. I probably should have hit that one with 400,000 gold, but uh, that's the price you pay. You know, you gotta be... Clash of Clans is a game about being patient. You gotta be patient. Upgrades take forever. Finding loot takes, you know, sometimes it takes a long time. Uh, but that's why I gotta get back up into Crystal League, because that's where all the loot is. Maybe we'll have to go do some upgrades first, and then we can maybe find... Uh, a base that we could go attack because usually what happens is it's like oh he wants to go attack where he's not going to get any loot we're not going to give him any loot and then uh we you know we go spend some loot and then then we're able to find like an insane base uh actually you know what let's attack this base i don't really want to click next anymore <laughs> i get to the point where it's like man i'm tired of clicking next so let's just go ahead and drop uh, a barbarian and an archer over here to distract that because i don't want my troops to you know get distracted on those corner buildings and also that's free percentage so let's just go ahead and take out these builder huts and let's just send in a bunch of barbarians on this side and then we're going to send in a bunch of bar uh, archers behind them while we send in the wall wrecker and the barbarian king archer queen and also the royal champion as well go ahead and send them in and uh, hopefully we can get this gold right here because mainly we're just going for the collectors that's pretty much all we want is the collectors uh, because that's where the majority of the loot is. We also want to get this Dark Elixir. Because there is a ton of Dark Elixir that we need. Not a ton of Dark Elixir on this base though. Let's go use the Barbarian King's ability. I do have a freeze spell. But there's not really anything that's going to... Except for the Town Hall. I guess we can go ahead and freeze the Town Hall. Because that is going to be a pain. I don't know if we're going to get the Town Hall though. It's going to be close. Those Valkyries are tanking just a little bit. No, they're not going to be able to. But we did get the 50%. And now I can just dump the rest of the Barbarians and Archers on the backside here with the Grand Warden. And we should be able to get the rest of the loot. Should be able to... Now I'm not going to have my heroes for the next raid. 
But uh, hopefully I can request for some CC troops as well. Because CC troops actually do help. I, as of, like, from this point on, I'm probably going to be using CC troops. Because I do want to get you know, as much loot and as much trophies as I possibly can. So, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, my clan is like level 7. So I'm actually able to request for uh, troops rather quickly. And uh, having a really good clan, you know, I'm able to donate to myself as well. Because I have... You know, I have my Town Hall 12, which donates max troops. Um, so I have my Town Hall 12 in there, and I'm able to donate to myself. So this raid, very nice. 80%, which means we're going to get about 12 trophies. No, 6 trophies. I only got the 1 star. I forgot. If you get 2 stars, then I want to get about 12 trophies. But I also have some loot in here as well. So Clock Tower Potion. I have 5,000 Dark, which is actually nice. That put me at 32. So the next raid, I need to try and get about 4,000. Let's go ahead and just collect these. Might as well, right? Get the max amount of loot that I can possibly have. And so now we only need 4,000 dark. And if I collect my treasury, I would only need 3,000 dark. So let's go out, try and find... Actually, you know what? Let's go do some upgrades. Let's let Clash of Clans think that we're not wanting loot right now. Shh, don't tell them. Don't tell them. All right, so I kind of want to get another storage going. I really want to get another storage going because... Like we talked about, you know, the storages, they're not super important. I mean, they are important, but they're not like the most exciting upgrades. Uh, but we do need to get one of them going. So right now we can hold 10.7 uh, million gold. And that will put me at 11 million, which would be nice. So let's go ahead and upgrade this with the elixir. It's a three-day upgrade. 1.5 million elixir. And actually, wait a minute. Okay, so that's not going to conflict with anything. We talked about that in the last episode. We don't want to have, you know, an upgrade that's, you know, if I did another two-day upgrade, I would have two builders come in available at the same time. So you definitely don't want to do that. That way, you know, you have something to do every day. That's that's kind of the way I think about it. You know, I want to have something to do every day. So let's go ahead and do this. Three days, 1.5 million elixir, and kaboom. Fantastic. So we have a two-day upgrade, a three-day upgrade, and a four-day upgrade. So we either need something less than like two days, like maybe a one day upgrade or a 16 hour upgrade or something like that. Or we need like a five day upgrade. And with our gold, we could do one of these Inferno Towers. That's a five and a half day upgrade. How long is this? That's a three day upgrade. Can't do that. That's a four day upgrade. We also can't do that either because the laboratory. Now what about the clan castle? That's a 10 day upgrade, but I don't have 10 or 9 million. So we can't do that. So let's look at our little suggested upgrades. We have Elixir Collectors, the Grand Warden. We could do the Grand Warden. Oh, but he's a two and a half day upgrade. So we technically can't do the Grand Warden right now. Uh, as far as barracks go, these are a three day upgrade. So we can't do that. This is probably a four, oh, a five day. We might actually could do the barracks and get the miners. Miners are absolutely awesome when I'm going for Dark Elixir. Uh, so you know what? 7 million. We do need to catch up on mortars. We also need to catch up on Teslas. That's a 16 hour upgrade. So I think we might want to do that with the gold. Might want to do that with the gold. Let's actually go out and try and do another raid. Let's go out and try and do another raid. Hopefully we can find maybe like a town hall snipe on the outside and uh, get the town hall. Maybe like a town hall 11. That's a town hall 13. We definitely can't take that out uh, because of the giga bomb that's inside there and well and the inferno tower that's in there. Uh, my troops will just get absolutely obliterated. So let's try and find like maybe a Town Hall Snipe. Get that extra star. Or if we find an insane amount of loot on a base, then uh, we can go attack that. Because we do need the Dark Elixir as well. Really need that. We need like, what did I say, 3,000 Dark Elixir? So let's see if we can find one of those. And hopefully we can find... Here's actually a dead base. It's got 4,000 Dark Elixir as well. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to win. I don't know because I don't have my heroes. Uh, I could boost my army. That'll get them both to level 8. But that's not really necessary. So where are the drills? We got a drill here and a drill there. And then the other drills on the inside. So I'm thinking we'll be able to get the 3,000 Dark Elixir that I need. Also with getting loot. So let's try and snag some of these buildings. Some of these free buildings. With these archers. With the barbarians. Get this loot as well. I definitely want to get the Dark Elixir. Definitely want to get the Dark Elixir Drills. That is probably number one priority. So let's try and get this Dark Elixir. And hopefully these archers can take that out. Yes, yeah, so we already got about 1100 Dark. So that's really nice. Let's go ahead and take out some of these free garbage buildings. 
drop an archer over there. Can I? Oh, I won't be able to snag that because of the archer tower. So let's go ahead and drop archers along the way. Barbarians along the way as well. Now the problem with these double walls, and I find it very annoying, <laughs> is that the archers have to get up right next to the wall, and it's it's kind of annoying. But I'm able to get to this dark elixir, and I think I might just have enough. We might just have enough to get the Barbarian King upgrade, and that would be absolutely epic, which means we're going to have to spend some loot on walls. And then we're probably going to get one of those baby upgrades. Go Actually, wait. How many days is the Barbarian King? I don't know. I might, I might just have to do it anyways. I might just have to get him upgraded anyways. Just so I can, you know, we have to get the heroes upgraded. Those are one of the number one priorities besides the laboratory, besides the army camps and stuff like that. We got to get the heroes upgraded. So we missed a little bit of gold. There was two collectors inside the base. But we still got 2,800, almost enough. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. I don't know. If we collect our treasury here, we have literally just enough. That is absolutely epic. It is a two and a half day upgrade, so it's going to kind of split these two, uh, which is, it's not ideal, but we have to get the heroes upgraded. And we have literally just enough. We have literally three more dark elixir that we need. And let's go ahead and get this bad boy upgraded to level 14. That is a two and a half day upgrade, 36,000. And kaboom. That is absolutely fantastic. That is, that is super clutch. I can't believe we actually made it just enough. Just enough. So with our gold, we talked about we need to get like a day upgrade going. We either need to get a day upgrade going or we need to get a five day upgrade going. So with the amount of loot we have, we actually have 8 million. And I kind of, you know what, I kind of want to do these Teslas, but I also want to do a really big upgrade, which would be the Inferno Tower. I could actually do the even bigger Inferno Tower, get it to level 3, but I kind of want to get, you know, these guys, you know, all, like, upgrading them together. Oh, we also did the Bomb Tower, too. I forgot about the Bomb Tower. That's a two-day upgrade, so I'm not going to do that. And that one's a three-day upgrade, so we can't do those. Uh, we could do an Expo. That's a six-day upgrade. Man, so many decisions. There's so many decisions to do. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think the expos are a little bit more, like, a little bit more efficient, maybe. I don't know. The Inferno Towers are actually very powerful. They're very powerful, especially against E-Drags and stuff like that. And uh, I've actually been getting hit by, you know, some E-Drags and stuff like that. But a lot of it's been ground troops. So, you know what? Let's do the expo. Let's do the expo. Expo really helps against ground troops, especially those pesky barbarians and archers and heroes. So let's go ahead and do the uh, Expo. But before we do that, let's go ahead and upgrade some walls. 3 million would put me about 5 million. So we can actually do that. Let's go ahead and upgrade this whole row of walls. 3.5 million. I think we can. I think we can. Yes, we have just enough. Perfect. So we are almost done with all of the pink walls. And then we'll start be able to work on the Town Hall 8 max walls, which would be nice. Those look like the little skelly man. So let's go ahead and upgrade this expo. Six days, 12 hours, 4 million. That's a huge upgrade. That's one of the biggest upgrades that we've done. So let's go ahead and do that. 4 million, 6.5 days, and kaboom. That is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and train up another set, or two sets of barge. And so now we have a two, not, two days, nine hours, two days, 11 hours, and a three-day upgrade. So in two days, I'll have two builders, basically. And uh, we're going to get some more upgrades done in the next episode. Let's look at these purple walls on our base and how epic it looks. I love the purple walls. Purple's my favorite color. If you haven't noticed, my logos and all that stuff on my live streams, purple's my favorite color. And I kind of like the purple and pink as well. That's why I have, you know, the purple and pink combo. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Look at that. We actually have six Tark Elixir. That is absolutely crazy. We have barely enough to get the Barbarian King upgraded. And I'm, uh, I'm super excited that we did. We got the laboratory still going. We got the Barbarian King upgraded. We got an expo going. That's going to be going for a long time. And then we got our gold and Elixir storage is upgrading. The runes are going to be more efficient for us. And I need to start pushing trophying a little bit. Uh, that's probably what I'll do off camera and maybe even on my live streams as well. Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed the video and have been enjoying the series. 
Uh, let me know in the comments, guys, how much you guys are enjoying this episode or these series. Um, it's, it's a huge challenge. Huge challenge. If you're a Rush base and you've learned anything, let me know in the comments, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Four daily videos. I've kind of been slacking on that a little bit, but I'm going to be back on the grind for pumping out these videos for you guys. Uh, make sure you come hang out in the live streams, guys. Monday through Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Time on Facebook Gaming. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Thank you guys so much. I love each and every one of you guys. Be safe out there, and I will see you all next time.